Hello guys, this is Joshua8600 with a new Let's Play of 14px. Let me turn this up. Actually, no, this is a perfect volume, actually. This music is quite amazing. First, um, this is a completed game. Um, just show you, 30 out of 30, death count 5 there. 45 out of 45. 45 out of 45. 45 out of 45. And 45 out of 45. And, so, and then, we're, now we're gonna start a new game. Um, not these set well, you can see, um, how many times I was killed. You might not be able to read that. Um, because, yes, I did try a test recording. The quality of this game isn't so, like, Okay, this is a great game. And yes, it, it said it would close. But, the quality of the video isn't too good. And I apologize about that, but this is the- I can only record this game through the conversion box. Just like, uh... Just like, um, Super Mario 74 The Extreme Edition. So let's just start. This is called 14PX. Um, online levels, um, I don't know anything about that, so let's just start. And this is gonna be a 100% run. Like, all three stars. In every level. Save your friends, yes. Escape through the wormhole. Now, I'm not actually sure what all three, uh, stars owe. I have to change these settings. Let me do that quickly. Sorry about that, I totally forgot about those settings. Not, not stats. Large device. Play. And now I, now I can do this. Easier. Yeah, because like, I'm playing on like a tablet, not a phone. Did I even get that? Yeah, I did. Now, I'm not even looking at my TV screen, like, just like with Mario 64 The Extreme Edition. It's, like, really laggy. Not really laggy, but, like, a quarter of a second lag from the, um, conversion box. And that's really makes a difference with this game. As you will see, like, near the end, it gets, like, really crazy. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, and this is gonna be, like, a regular Let's Play, like, 14, uh, not 4, like, around 15-minute segments. I will be leaving all the deaths in for each level, unless, like, in those 15 minutes I don't complete any level, I'll pretty much just scrap the recording, and then start a new recording, and for another 15 minutes. <clears throat> I don't have much to say about this first world. Um, yeah, and... <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's like, I don't know, it's not clear. It was when I was playing this game, but right now it's not, I don't know, it's because I'm, maybe it's because I'm talking, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if you're meant to be able to do that, but you can climb on the walls and the ceiling. Um, I'm not sure if this is a glitch or what. Like, you're pretty much just meant to double jump, this changes gravity. And there's one level later that, uh, those orbs, my god, once it changes gravity. Like, you're pretty much just meant to do this. Double jump and then jump off. But, you don't have to do that. You can climb the walls. And the ceiling. See, look, right here. You can, like, climb it. I don't know, it's weird. I'm not sure if it's a glitch or not. It probably is, but, honestly, I'm not complaining. Because at, at times, that's pretty much the only way you can actually beat the game. Or beat the level with all three stars, so... I don't know. Whoa, that was weird. Yeah, I know it's weird. If you're holding the direction button when the level begins, it doesn't work. You have to individually press it each time. It's weird. Uh, this is the first instance of a spinner, if I'm correct. And right now, our time is pretty good. Uh, see, look, right now, I don't know what happened. Like, the button was not moving. Like, he just was not moving. <clears throat> and this game, oh, if I didn't mention it, I, yeah, I did not mention it, if I recall correctly. Um, but this is, this game is free on Android. Um, last time I checked on iOS, on the iTunes store, it's 99 cents. But if you have an Android, this is like, it's completely free, so get it, because it's a great game. If you're into challenging platformers, this is great. And this first world isn't challenging at all. Level 3 is when, and world 3 is when it starts getting really challenging. 
Um, there are, if I remember correctly, and I just showed it on the screen, there are five worlds. There are no final bosses to each world, it's just get through all the levels. <clears throat> You do not need to get all three stars to advance. I think you only need one star to advance, and I think that's just completing it. But I think you need all your friends. Or some... I don't know. Um, these are... something. I'm not sure what every enemy is called. But I am not going to be getting, like, every a death from every enemy, because that's completely pointless. And it wastes time, too. And this game is really difficult. Special characters unlocked, that's okay. This run is going to be without them. Because they make the game a little too easy. And besides, I don't even think you can get three stars with them. Or maybe if you can, I, do, I was just doing really bad then. The one time I used it, because I didn't know what they were. Um, I couldn't get three stars even though I collected everything. So I think it... Uh, it's like, basically, if you can't beat the level, use a special character, but you can't get three stars anyway, even if you collect anything. Everything. You have to collect everything with the standard character. Oh, wow, I'm already on World 2? Are you crazy? Wow, death count zero. I was originally thinking about doing a no-death run of this game, but I didn't realize how hard it would be. Like, some of these, the later levels... Uh, yeah, normally, you wouldn't be able to climb that, but if you just do that, um, not a problem. Now, I'm not too sure about those orbs. Um, if I re was really wanted to, I can... Ugh, maybe. Does that even show... No, it doesn't show up. Um, I think I messed this level up. Okay, so... One, two, no. One, two, yeah, I messed up. I have to die. That's okay, sometimes I fail. But it's not, like, nearly as bad as it, as it could be in, like, Mario 74, because that game is meant to be as infuriating. That was weird. I activated it, but, like, those platforms didn't show up. Weird. One, two, and then, yeah. It's weird. The double... I don't know, it's weird. Sometimes you get a double jump, sometimes you get a triple jump. I don't know how that works. But that's okay. This may... This might actually be a very short LP. I don't know, because I'm already on World 2. Even though World 1 does have approximately five levels less than the other worlds. Still... And it was considerably a lot easier. Yeah, and what those spikes d do is basically, in case I think the creator knew you can climb the walls, so he put those there. So even if you know how to do it, you can't. You can't. You just can't do it. This looks just like the final level. I'm just, cause wow. I think this level is almost exactly like the final level of the game, if I'm remembering correctly. That's kind of insulting. Uh, I need that orb. Hold on a second. I want to replay this level quickly and see. Yeah, you can just climb this. My fastest time for the final level is 2.11. Let's try it. And then I was able to fall directly. 2.62. But yeah, my fastest was 2.11. Like, right now, I'm not really into, like... Yeah, I think that was exactly the same as the final level. Oh, my God. That is not good. Did it have nine buddies that you have to rescue? I don't know. I wasn't counting. So I know the final level had nine. Or is that the final world from level four? Um, what did I just do? I did not even collect everything. I am like losing my concentration.
because I was like forgetting what I was supposed to be doing. I was talking about the final level, I was forgetting what, what I was doing in this level. I need that blue key, that's what I need. There we go. Now we're doing this correctly. I don't know what I was doing before. And there we go. Next level. Yes, I realize you can't really see me, like, moving. Like, you can only see the game screen. But you can see, like, the highlights of the buttons when I'm pressing it, so... I guess that's something, right? And I messed this up. This level looks familiar, too. Yeah, see, I don't know if you're meant to be able to do that. And be careful here, I'm pretty sure this one times out. No, that one just activates a whole spike stuff. The game is kind of cool like that. And from what I... And I think I should explain the special character thing quickly while I'm at it. Um, I'll do that in a second. Once I can get to this. Once I can pause. Once I can pause. Okay, uh, yeah, you see those... The prices for, like, Mach is 200 crack is 100. Those are basically the orbs that you collect. And they and it gets tallied up through uh, all your levels. And I think the way to get more is to replay previous levels. If And if I recall the correct uh, world, the final level of one of the worlds has over 100 in, in it, so I'm pretty sure that's level 3's. I mean, world 3's uh, final level. Or is it world 4? I don't know. It's one of them. And yeah. And I am a, No, this is not an exit. This is a portal. And yeah, that one has like over 100 of the orbs. So it's really easy to be able to get the special character at that point. And, and like, unless you're really good, it's going to be really hard to finish the game. Because there are some parts that are just really bad. Like this level, for example. I remember this. Yep. This level is a hard one. I for, I'm for, oh, I remember what to do. Back away while, when they first shoot. Yes, they, uh, will shoot again. No, they won't, they aren't shooting again. That's weird. I don't know why I like to press that. And then this, you have to, like, kind of know ahead of time what you're doing. Like, you can see the squares off in the distance before you get to them. But, unless, but if you've played the level enough trying to get everything, uh, yeah, it's not that hard. Ugh. Yeah, that's... Was that my first death? Beside the one where I messed up and had to fall off? I think that was. It's kind of cool. It was, like, right here. The other one was about right here. Next one's about right here. Not even looking at the screen, like... This part's hard. Uh, wow. I could have just done that the whole time. I've not been doing that every time I come... Yeah, there you have to stand in the proper position to land on the orbs. And we're almost, uh, done with time. We're almost, we're almost at the time. So, let's try this one last level. Before we end the segment. The first segment of 14px. Uh, okay, I'm not really quite sure what I'm doing right now. This level, um, I do not remember it. Um, but I'm falling. Um, uh, now I have to go the other way. Okay, that was weird. He wasn't gripping to the wall. Okay, there we go. Uh, nope. Don't go into the teleporter. Most of the time, the teleporter, uh, you can't get back to that area. So, and it always, like, blocks it off. But if I remember correctly, there's one level where you can always, 
where he can get back to the area and go back to the teleporter. So. so let's go to the main menu and see where we are. So completed uh, World 1. And we're over halfway done with World 2. Uh, I think now that level's the halfway point. But, uh, World 2, I keep saying level, I have to get into the mindset that's a world, but anyway, um, yeah, this was the first segment of 14PX, and we're already, um, ma made a lot of progress into this game. Okay, see you guys next time for 14PX. Goodbye.